Outlast 2 was one of the most difficult Platinum trophies that I have ever attempted. Initially, playing this game was a terrifying horror experience, and genuinely one of the most scary games I've ever played. The library! Yay! I hate this f***ing part, man. The f***ing ghostly bodies running at you pisses me off! Ah! However, seeing the incredibly ultra-rare trophy statistic really got my juices flowing. Suddenly, I became hell-bent on the idea of platinuming this game. This game has a f ton of collectibles. A whopping 105 of them need to be collected, many of which are very easy to walk past, cross a point of no return, get checkpointed, and f right over for missing it. Do I have to be on the other side? I'm on the wrong side! I thought I was supposed to be on this. I I better be able to go back. No! I better not have checkpointed. Oh my no way! I got locked out, dude. No shot. Oh great, great. Actually, go f yourself, game. Like literally, go f yourself. You suck. You suck. Bro, that how stupid, how stupid is this? No way, dude. Everything I just did got undone. All my crawling progress, using the mic for 20 minutes, that all just got undone just now because I walked too far. Unfucking real, dude. <laughs> However, that's not even the annoying part. The game also has these incredibly tedious trophies that require you to do pointless and time-consuming tasks. Things like crawling for 500 meters. This is so stupid. <laughs> I can't get over how dumb this is. The, yeah, this this is gonna look tedious as f for a while because you <laughs> there's literally a trophy to crawl 500 meters, which is why I'm crawling everywhere I go. Tedious, but needs to be done this this is the perfect example though of stupid f***ing trophies like the miscellaneous trophies in this game are so dumb for like no reason why do you have to crawl 500 meters like i don't think you should make a trophy of something that no one would ever do right like that's just silly oh my god he's done it I just crawled 500 meters, thank god. I'm free, chat. Keeping your camera microphone on for 20 minutes straight. Oh, and by the way, every time you put the camera away, the mic just turns itself off. So you need to remember to turn it back on. That wasn't annoying at all. Oh yeah, there's the microphone trophy, so we're Thanks. good with that. I owe you one. And of course, then there's the trophy for staying underwater for 10 whole minutes. Naturally, I made my way over to the nearby river and proceeded to nearly drown myself for 10 minutes straight. You know, casual trophy stuff, no harm done. I guess it is. Fucking finally, Jesus. All right, we got our trophy. Jeez. Do you see how tedious that was, man? Holy fuck was that not the opposite of fun. Fuck dumb, dude. What a stupid trophy. And who could forget the trophy to use 10 bandages in a single run? I had to intentionally receive an ass whooping from my pursuers, which was a ton of fun. Loved it. You're looking fine this evening, sir. Ow. He didn't like the compliment. Oh. 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 He beat me up, chat. He beat me up. Mac Dougal, how's it going? Oh my god, I got the 10 bandages. All right, now I'm not whacking around no more. I found all of these trophies to be pretty awful. Sure, they're not hard, but they're just so poorly designed. The fact that I played several playthroughs of this game and never once came close to getting these trophies naturally just really says a lot. You literally have to go out of your way to do these things. So yeah, they really sucked. At least the 12 meter blood slide trophy was easy, which was nice. Wee. 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 
But what if I told you that none of these trophies even held a candle to this game's greatest challenge? This game has a downright evil trophy within its list. A trophy so difficult that it'll keep you up at night. Yes, bear witness to the Messiah trophy. This game requires you to beat the game on insane difficulty without changing the camera battery. Now, just to put things into perspective for you, this is what makes this trophy so damn awful. On insane difficulty, you have to play through the entire game from start to finish in one sitting. And if you die at any point during the run, your ass is getting sent back to the intro cutscene. Oh, and by the way, you can't skip cutscenes in this game, of which there are many, and they're very long. You're gonna be seeing these cutscenes a lot. You'll know every piece of dialogue by heart by the end of this journey. That is, if you can make it to the end when every single enemy in the game either one or two shots you, most of which are one shots. Surely that's enough. Oh no. No, let me do it. Ah! <laughs> 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 just ran over and punched me in the face. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, this part sucks. I hate this creep motherfucker, dude. Every time you die, you'll have to watch Val lick you again. God doesn't love you. Not like I do. All of this aside, I was determined to overcome this great challenge. And so, I started a new game on Nightmare Difficulty. Since the enemies behave exactly like how they do on Insane Mode, this would make for great practice. Alright. So we'll start chapter one. Uh, do you want to load an existing save? No. Nightmare. Bruh. Let's do it. Jesus, Blake. Are you really sleeping? I'm awake. Yeah, Jesus, Blake. We got trophies to get, mother oh, to Wake up. Wake up. So what if I just, like, say, f*** you? Hey. Oh, f***. Ooh. That was too luck based. No, I need like a surefire strategy. Come kill me. I don't want to get by on luck. I want to develop strategies that consistently work. So just kill me. Restart checkpoint. We'll try again. I made it a point to practice the entire game and all the sections that I had the most trouble with as much as possible. I set a rule for myself that if I could do one section three times in a row using the same strategy consistently, then I would move on from that part and proceed to the next section. Can I just, like, ape through this part? Whoops. Can you always do that? Like, consistently? Wait, wait, wait. Kill me? No! I want to know if you can always do that. Okay, so... Shut up! Stop tutorialing me! You already told me this sh- Okay, so don't hit the wall, just... Interesting! That's why I playtested this as many times as I did, because I wanted to know if something like that could happen. They can just sidestep cut you off! Holy sh- Can every enemy in the game do that? I assume so! That's spooky as sh- That means it's not as simple as just beelining, man! Damn, enemies are assholes in this game. I practiced each section over and over until I was absolutely certain that I could get through them consistently. Oh, you go this way. Oh. Don't puke on me. Ew, any pukers in chat? Wow, did you see me fucking debate that guy? Wait, but that felt so luck-based. Or, well, maybe not luck-based, but like... Oh, no! Sick people! Sick people, sick people in my hair! Sick people, sick people everywhere! I wanna try that again. Fantastic. Okay, so this guy. Ah, I didn't see him! But that's the thing, I need to do this without seeing him. That's what's important. Alright, wait for Ken. No! He comes at you so fast! Is this possible without taking damage? 
Oh god. I need to know. Oh, maybe- ah! Fuck! Wait, I was onto something though. I was onto something. It's about preemptively backing up. I was trying to time backing up, but if you're already in the process of backing up when he comes around the bend, he auto misses. Maybe that's the key. Maybe I just keep backing up. Backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. My daddy taught me good. Yo, fuck you. <laughs> that worked great. That's the strat, I think. I think I got it. Something that was extremely annoying about this game was that this game checkpoints you way too often. And I honestly can't believe I'm saying that. Normally, I'm criticizing a game for not giving enough checkpoints. But this game checkpoints you so often that it effectively f***s you over from practicing certain sections as often as you'd like. If there was a part that I was really struggling with and I made it through successfully, I'd want to practice it and try it again to see if my strategy could work consistently. However, I would often get immediately checkpointed after my successful attempt, making it impossible to try again without setting me back a few ways or significantly inconveniencing me, which was extremely annoying when I was trying to come up with successful strategies. Okay, let me try this. If I just... Oh, wait! Oh, did I? No, it auto-saved! I need to practice! No! That sucks. I hate that it auto-saved that fast. That strat worked, but I need to practice! Holy wow! Wow, I... Hmm, that's a problem. Okay, so unfortunately because it auto-saved, the auto-save there sucks, man. I hate that they auto-save you that quickly. That blows down. It's so bad for practice. And that's such a part where you want to practice. Like, what the f*** is that? I might have to practice that part via chapter select. I loved my strat, but, like, I only got it off once, and I don't know if it was luck-based. Yo! And then, and then you auto-save again, like, five steps away. Like, what is that, dude? That's so bull- Why didn't you just auto-save me here instead of- That makes no sense. Where do I go? Oh, you climb. I feel like- Oh, he's puking on me. Before he kills me, the disrespect. Okay, we get it. I'm dead. Can you wrap that shit up? God was killing me for like five minutes. Had to puke on me, get like seven hits in. Jesus. I'm out of stamina, chat. Wait, that's spooky. What the hell? Aren't I screwed? Oh. And then you just switch places with them. I'll ch that's spooky that you run out of stamina. But I mean, I guess they can't catch you anyway. My knee is stink- wait. You checkpoint halfway through this sh That's so dumb! Oh my god, why? Dude, some of the checkpoints in this game make no f***ing sense. Great. Another part of the game I don't get to practice because of a sh checkpoint. Not only was I required to learn consistent strategies, but I also had to learn this game inside and out. If I had any hope of beating this game using only one battery, then I had to familiarize myself with the terrain that I'd be navigating. Can I get out of here without turning on my flashlight? Oh, there's another door over there. Wait, hang on. I'm stuck on like a desk. There we Use go. I want to play test this to the point where it's like fucking muscle memory and I don't even have to use my battery. Even in moments where the screen was pitch black, it would genuinely benefit me to learn how to get around without my camera. And so I made it a point to do that whenever possible. Okay, so here's what I want to know. As soon as you land down the hole, right? As soon as you finish sliding, you get up. You're already facing the way you need to go. So if I just walk up... Now I should be facing the wall. Yep. And then you just crouch after you come to a complete stop. And you crouch until you slide. And then you're out. Okay. So, 
Let me see if I could do that without using battery life. Fumbling around in the dark was a little spooky, but almost every time that I had to do this, I wasn't actually in any danger, which was comforting. The more I practiced different strategies, I began to realize that the enemy AI truly is unpredictable, and they can literally change their tactics at the drop of a dime at any given moment. Is he gonna just turn around and spawn me? Okay. Get over there, man! Oh, yeah. All right. Let's try that again. You see what I f***ing mean, chat? Do you see what I f***ing mean, chat? Do you see what I f***ing mean, chat? That guy didn't do that last time. So if one of my strategies relied on the pathing of an enemy to be consistent, I would have to forego that strategy for a more favorable one. Because enemies are just simply too random, and relying on them to do the exact same thing repeatedly, consistently, was truly a death wish, and it would cost me many potentially successful runs. How the hell do I know when it's safe to go? Wait, this part sucks. And then you just trade places with them. I'm assuming you just run to the end of this hall and then that's it. Is it that simple? Like, is it consistent? Can you use that strategy every time and it works the same way? Time to find out, chat. My question is, does he always do that? We're gonna have to playtest this a lot. Oh. Interesting. So maybe what might be the safe bet there is just stand on the other side of the door and wait to hear him walk by unless he opens the door that would suck this part is really scary because it's you're so close to the end of the game and these guys can one shot you so one mistake and you f the whole thing yeah he doesn't ever seem to turn right i feel like if it was a true 50 50 chance i would have seen him do it at least once by now at times, it just felt like I could not come up with a consistent strategy, because enemies could just be way too much of a wild card at times. And it was starting to feel like no matter how much I practice, there would always be at least somewhat of a luck factor during certain parts of the game, which was a really shitty feeling, because it started to make me second guess whether or not I could actually pull this off. What? He didn't path this way. I mean, surely he comes eventually. I've never seen him do this. Wow. No way, dude. Please come over here. I'm gonna be so annoyed if he doesn't. That throws my whole strategy to the wind. If he just chooses not to come over here. That literally ruins everything. What is he doing? I hear him swinging his weapon. He's not coming over, is he? I can't believe this is a possibility. Wow. This is so upsetting. Like, here I am building my entire foundation off this strategy, and the fact that it could go this wrong and just mess everything up. I can't believe this can happen. Can you imagine if I got to the end of the run and had this shit happen? Like, oh my god, what would I even do, man? Let me just see if this head is over there. Yeah, he's literally just chilling there. He was just chilling there. No way they... I've never once had them come in here when I was standing there. The fact that they can do that... Oh my god. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. <laughs> That just sent my entire strategy to the moon. Holy, that just f***ed everything. What? And then I can't outrun her because the water? It seems like you might be able to outrun her, actually. I mean, she didn't catch me yet. No way. So even if he gets spotted, it seems like she takes quite a while to- It's 
doesn't seem too bad, actually. Yeah, so even if you get caught, it's like not the end of the world. Like, she's kind of slow. Unreal, dude. She always spots me, but never catches. So you know what, whatever. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with that part, to be honest. I don't give a shit. I'm done. That guy You're pregnant. How are you pregnant? Please. I don't want to die here. Lynn, you're pregnant? How are you pregnant? Well, Blake, you see, when a man and a woman really like each other, it gets real complicated in the lower regions. And, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And before you know it, BAM! What the f***? That's what I'm saying. We have to find shelter. <laughs> as far from those places we can get. By the time I finished practicing every single section on Nightmare Difficulty, in truth, I still wasn't feeling 100% confident. But regardless, I decided to start attempting some actual runs on Insane Difficulty. Using my newfound knowledge of the game, I pressed on. Life Simulator! <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Insane. In the membrane. Insane mode is the ultimate heart attack experience. Maximum difficulty and no checkpoints. If you die, all progress is lost and you start over at the beginning. Are you ready to suffer? Look at this message. Look at it. They know what they were doing. Okay, so with this part, um... Yeah, I remember how to do this. I'm dead? Well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> More often than not, I began to notice that even though I had practiced every single section in the game several times in succession, during my insane attempts, I just kept seeing my strategies unravel and fall apart. Enemies kept surprising me, doing things that I had never seen them do before, despite playtesting these parts so often. And I suddenly started second-guessing many of my strategies that I was originally sure would not fail me. This was starting to become very frustrating, and it was really difficult for me to remain optimistic about my chances. What? I've never had that happen before! Are you shitting me? No! Wait, I'm alive! Bro, what the f No way, chat! He's never done that before! And the countenance of an angel of God. I play tested that part so many times and he would always walk out. He never once looked at me like that was a first dude. What the fuck? And I did that part so many times. I did it like seven, eight times in a row. And he never once did that. <laughs> That's mm. That's so frustrating, man. I'm just gonna pray that that was like a one-off, insanely bad RNG giga unlucky. Like, I'm gonna just assume that that was so rare that it can't possibly happen twice in a row. Like, if I get back there and the same shit happens, bruh. The truck might be a better spot, I just don't know where it is. Is it right in front of me? I see a tire. 
Is that the truck right there? Because if it's right there, that'd be a good spot to hide. Yeah, that is the truck right there. That is so interesting that two times in a row, a strategy that I tried and tested like seven or eight times in a row failed twice in a row. Now I'm starting to become paranoid. That is actually so bullshit. On the upside, I did see where the truck was right before I died, and it does look like the, the much better spot. So... I will use that spot next time. You can watch the speedrun video. It's like two hours and then try the tricks. No, but bro, I don't want to do that. I don't want to watch someone else's fucking video. I wanted to get through this mode using my sh** that I learned, my experiences, my trial and errors. That's what's important to me with this. Like I can watch some other asshole and just copy what he did. But then it's like, it's his victory, not mine. I want to do what i did the struggles i went through i want that to be what gets me through this not someone else's sh hmm okay so the plan is open the door and then make my way to the truck and hide underneath it until they f off holy sh this is, i'm officially the furthest i've made it on insane I mean, if that's the re- I didn't know that could happen, chat. I didn't know. Oh, you don't like our cutscenes? We're hit- Well, here you go. Watch the intro again. <laughs> Damn it! I, I sidestepped into like a rock or something. I, I felt myself come into contact with like a wall. Yeah, a fucking rock ended my run. No! 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 So they killed you, didn't they? Okay, I, I, this no. is gonna drive me insane. I have to, I can't listen to this. I can't well, listen to it, Jack. It's gonna here. drive me insane. Oh my <laughs> No oh, No What a stupid way to learn Oh no <laughs> To make it stop. Oh my Run Blake Oh my I'm in trouble Did she fucking see me? I think she did, right? Ah. No way! Oh, I'm doomed. I don't know if I would have been able to get away with that. I was thinking, like, instead of juking around her, maybe I should have tried to go under the fence. But I feel like she was so close to me that she wouldn't have let me. That's why I didn't do it. I'm a genius. I f***ed up. Don't run out of stamina, Blake! Oh, 
Oh, I'm so proud of you, Blake. I am so proud of you. Oh, no! No, I'm out of stamina! Oh! <laughs> Why is there a guy in here? Every time I've ever done that part, there was never, ever a second guy. You gotta love when you just keep fucking playtesting something and and you, you're still introduced to new sh- Oh, god damn it. God damn it! Fuck! Maybe that's the more surefire way to do it. Maybe I'll run up there, put the crank, I didn't think he comes that fast! No! Sending unrelenting beauty of annihilation. Ooh, yeah! Ooh, yeah! Macho Man Randy Savage, he's done it again! Snap into a Slim Jim! How does he do it, chat? How does he do it all the time without fail? Except the times where he fucks it up. But you know, besides that, how does he do it? All right, Chad, I gotta really focus here. Hey, yo, bitch. Holy, he almost hit me. The house was in between me and him and he almost... Bro, the first few times I ever play tested this, he ran right up to me. It was unreal. I wish you could consistently make him do it. Because, like, when he does it, it makes it so... No! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, good night. I have had her up my ass before, but never that hard. That was crazy. I've literally never had her chase me that long before. With this next attempt, this was a new personal best for me, and I had never made it this far before. However, unfortunately, since it had been so long since I've seen the second half of this game, my memory of the next part coming up was a complete blank, and I had completely forgotten what comes next. Because of this, my pathing here was very poorly decided, and I ended up just dying for free on an enemy who should have never even had a chance of killing me. This was extremely upsetting, and dying here when I absolutely shouldn't have was enough to make me reevaluate my priorities. And after thinking it over quite a bit, I decided to switch back to Nightmare Difficulty for the time being, and practice the entire second half of the game once again in order to help commit things to memory so that this would never happen again. Bro, pants off. Great, I run slower because I can't pull. Bro, what the f This stupid guy comes running up on me while I'm- I guess I should have just sprinted to the body. And it sucks because I think I checkpointed after I picked up the, um, the rope. I fucking did. That sucks. I want to practice that. Because now that I checkpointed, I can't possibly practice it the way I wanted to. Because that guy fucking rolls up on you. And the thing is, if he hits you, you become wounded, so you run slower, and then you're, like, pretty much guaranteed to get shot. So you have to do that part without getting hit. And I can't practice it because this game's checkpoints suck. This game has asshole checkpoints, man. Like, now, now I have to restart from the Last Supper and do all that bullshit again just to try that again, man. That is... Mm. Yeah, thanks, dead body. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, we're good. 
All right, now I am officially further than I've ever been. What happened there, I didn't push the cart fully against the wall. And then when I climbed up it and went to jump over, I didn't make it. I've never once went that up. So let's see. Let's see if I first try it, no problem. Wouldn't that be funny? It's literally that easy. There was no excuse for me to die there. Yo, yo. Did I just get spotted? In case I did, I'm gonna hide. Woo! I have no fear. This probably seems crazy, crazy. A graveyard theory. A ghost tried to approach me and got leery. He's crying. Uh, you're sh. What? Oh, wow, dude. No way. Bro, he showed up so late. I can't believe how long I waited. No. Ah! What sucks is if I was playing with audio, that wouldn't have happened. Like, 100%. Go, go, go. Bro, I never stopped moving! How did he hit me, man? Normally, if you're just sprinting, he can't hit you. I guess next time I get to that part, I'll sit behind the rock until I hear the next shot go off and then go. I didn't even know it was possible to fucking die like that, man. He's, mm, he's not exactly where I want him to be, actually. But, I mean, I swear this doesn't even matter, because he's always in my way anyway. Whatever. Ah! No! How did I- Oh my god! No, shit! No! Ah! Ah! I'll never win! I'll never win! <laughs> A failure! Well, guys... I'm gonna have to break the news to my parents. They raised a failure. <laughs> On this next attempt, it was after I came home from work. It was late, but I just couldn't stop thinking about playing. I wanted to get one good attempt in before I went to bed. And it just so happened that this next attempt was a new personal best. I was extremely focused and in the zone. I was feeling good. That is until I got to the school. You see, I was so close to making it to the mines, which I had yet to do on any of my attempts. And I have this terrible habit when I need to open a door, get on the other side of it, and shut the door behind me. I'll run up to the door and press square to open it, but because I'm so anxious to get through so quickly, I'll end up hitting square again before I've made it all the way through, so I'll end up closing the door right in my own f***ing face. And of course this ended up whacking me over in an actual run. If you look closely, you could actually see my soul leave my body. Yeah, that one hurt. So that is literally the only part of the game. Yo, f***ing Blake, stand up! I had a died there? Oh my god! Why wouldn't he stand up? Bro, I thought that part was as simple as uncrouching. He wouldn't do it! He just stayed underwater! What the hell was that? I've literally never had a problem there. I can't I can't believe that almost killed me, man.
Now we're waiting for the guy to come down the hall towards me. Uh, I feel like he's taking longer to do that than usual. So I think I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, there he is. He took pretty long to do that for some reason. Now, he likes to debate at that hole there. He starts crawling through it, and then he backs up. Yeah, he's a f***ing little debate. Uh, we're waiting for him to come back out and then walk all the way down the hall. He's taking his sweet f***ing time, dude. Come on, man. Today. There he goes. Don't turn around. He turned around. Why didn't he just walk straight down the hall? I'm too afraid to peek again because if he's looking at me, that's again, it's just a rip run. No way! You what? You just get found? What the hell? If you take too long, he just find you! You're no way! No way, dude! No! <laughs> Why did he take so long? <laughs> Wait, he's just pulling me out, but maybe I could get up and run? I think he's ripping me out of the barrel, right? So I'm not actually dead. Because I'm going to take damage from this, I'm pretty sure, which is going to slow my movement speed. I think I'm dead here no matter what. I don't see how I recover from this, but I'll f try. Ah. Run! Go, 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 go! Sliding! Slip and slide! Oh, I'm moving slower than usual because I'm hurt! No! Come on, Blake! No, I'm running out of stamina now! Yeah. I knew I was most likely just gonna die there. <laughs> Got some tongue action. <laughs> Get under there. Wow. Come on. That was close. Holy f dude, I was literally holding four and he wouldn't go. God, man. You literally just got stuck on bull- It's scary. Here they come. Go, 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 go! I'm out of stamina. I didn't regain enough. Come on, Blake! Oh, yeah! That was scary, bro. I ran out of stamina so much earlier than I anticipated, but they didn't catch up. Holy shit, dude. There you go. Okay, now as soon as you drop out here, we are at the part that I have been dreading. With this next section coming up in the mines, this was the part I playtested more than any part in the entire game. And despite that, I still didn't have a surefire strategy. But I did, however, have a decent one. Basically, we wait for this guy to FO and then we book it right past him. However, there's a 1 in 4 chance that he will beeline right towards me. However, as a wise man once said, Never tell me the odds. Moment of truth. What will he do? Do I get Giga unlucky? Or does he do what he did the past, like, 8 times in a row? I had a pretty consistent strategy with literally every other part in the game. With this part being the only exception. I kind of left this one in the hands of the trophy gods, which is why I decided to highlight it, because this section was unique for that reason. Dummy. When you're this far into a run, you really don't want to be leaving anything to chance. Eh, but what can I say? I get- <laughs> I like how when that bitch comes off and goes, the first thing you hear Blake do is <gasps> <laughs> like, like he just inhales the whole puff of smoke yeah probably shouldn't do that <laughs> oh it's oh, so funny after that there wasn't much left that i was afraid of 
That was easily the part in the game that had me the most worried and concerned. From here, it was just a straight shot to the end of the game. As long as I didn't fuck up immensely, the run should be free. Or so I thought. Turns out there was a section of the game that I didn't playtest as much as I should've. And that was the very last encounter with Marta. So I always thought that this part was as simple as just running away from her. But as it turns out, Marta is actually very scary during this moment. If you run away from her too quickly and create too much distance, she'll actually end up cutting you off. And if that happens, she's just killing your And I actually had no idea that she could even do this until my livestream chat warned me about it at the last second. Turns out she did this to me once during practice, but because she was mostly off camera, I never actually saw the exact pathing she took to get to me, and I hadn't realized what exactly happened. Suffice it to say, I did not have a strategy for her if she decided to do this. I've only ever done this part just running straight, and this was the absolute worst time to discover this. I was basically one enemy encounter away from the Platinum, and I was scared shitless I was gonna fuck it up. And so, I employed a strategy that I'd never used before, and left my fate in the hands of the trophy gods. Oh shit! Come on! Come on! Go, 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 go! Saint, beat the game on Insane, and Messiah! Finish the game on Insane without reloading the battery. Holy f- What? Oh! I got this trophy too? I didn't even realize! I got an extra trophy. Finish the game in another four hours. Booyah! So was it worth it? Well, most people would probably agree that it wasn't. This game is a brutal experience on Insane. With nearly every single enemy one-shotting you, sending you all the way back to the beginning of the game, and forcing you to have to re-watch every single cutscene in its entirety as punishment, all because you made one mistake, most people would probably see this and say, yeah, no, fuck you, I'm not doing that. And I would applaud them for doing so. The amount of playtesting and memorization required to get through this run is asking so much of the player, and this was by no means an easy task in any regard. However, strangely enough, as demanding as this Platinum was, for some reason I had a lot of fun working towards it. Outlast 2 was never a game that I could say that I genuinely enjoyed. After I played this game for the first time back in 2018, after one blind run I said, yeah, that's enough for me, and I hadn't touched it since. However, I never stopped thinking about this game, even after all that time. This game was a memorable experience that stayed with me for years, until finally I said, I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna platinum this game! I finally did, and overall I really enjoyed my time with this game, and it was a fun and memorable experience overall. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all things trophy related. And of course, if you guys want more videos just like this one, be sure to take a look at my full Platinum Experience playlist over on my channel for more content just like this. And more Platinum Trophy videos on other games. Anyways, with that, that's gonna be all from me. So take it easy, everybody. Have a good one, and I will definitely see you in the next one.